this here is the, on the was based on the platform of the um, AX10 by um, Axial, and um, we um, redid this. To, uh, this is the ready to run version, and this one was redone um, to be able to do um, actually a lot of work. We we built this to pull cabling in buildings, and um, to be able to um, pull cable in long uh, stretches. Um, instead of a human going up there in these small, tight, dirty areas, we would send this. Um, this machine here would go through and we could control it at the bottom uh, via the um, monitors and control it all the way to the end of the source where uh, then we would reach up and grab the cable and then drive this thing back to the exit point. Um, comes with a body that you can still actually go ahead and use as fun. Uh, my kids play with it and um, they have a good time uh, having uh, fun with this, but it can also be a serious workhorse as well. It can do a, a lot, but with the body on, it conceals the camera and everything very well, even though everything is pretty concealed with the body off, but this gives an extra layer of protection. So with the body off, um, we do have the um, camera, which is a uh, 380 lines resolution, 2.4 gigahertz color camera with a CMOS technology. Um, this camera is able to um, pan left and right and tilt up and down. Um, you can actually take this camera and actually zoom down all the way to the wheels. Um, sorry, not zoom, but actually just tilt down and be able to look left and right uh, to see what you're climbing over. Uh, then also you can look up in the ceiling and uh, just make sure there's no overhead obstacles. This light here is a um, uh, four LED. Um, it has four different uh, options that you are able to do. Um, this light will actually turn on and off with the remote here. So if you have a certain spot that you want to get this and you in darkness and you need to then be able to uh, turn a light um, on, you can turn a light on to get to your certain area. And then if you want to be in a stealth mode, you can go ahead and turn the light off, and it'll shut off from there. Um, this light here, actually, if you can see. We got the off button here. This manually overrides everything, even though you don't need to turn this on and off every time. You can use the remote. Um, this is a red light. This is good for seeing um, incomplete darkness. Um, this offers a subtle light that's not blinding. So, for instance, if you need to get in a situation where it's real dark and you want to be able to uh, read something um, up close, you would probably use this light versus the bright white LEDs would actually wash out what you're trying to read. Um, those are good for traveling long distances and being able to see, but this one is actually a good stealth light um, to be able to be in a covert situation. Uh, you can hit the one button one time and it just does the floods on the side. Then it also won't hit once again. Uh, then it does the spotlights. Uh, then you can hit it again and it does all four. The torque load, we did put a 55 turn motor um, into here for the extra power. Um, this ready to run did come with plastic um, links, which we also put ahead and put the, the um, aluminum links. Um, this gives it much more torque. It doesn't twist and lose any of the energy and power um, in the plastic, which the plastic did. And it also gives you a higher clearance. Um, to where the other one slanted down, these ones are straight up and then go down over by the wheels. So you're able to get over things a lot easier with, uh, with these links. The battery tray here was originally used to house the uh, battery originally. We moved the battery up front for two reasons. Once, one reason is to get it off the, the uh, plate here so the camera has a full viewing area. Um, and also for balance ratio. To have more weight in the front, a 60-40 ratio, causes you and increases your pulling power and also uh, does not allow the front end to go up too when you're pulling drastic weight. The top utility plate here um, is able to be used for a couple different things. If you want to go ahead and house a tool or something up here uh, or take it to location or for fun if you just want to put something here and drive it to somebody um, that's available. We have velcro strap up here that is able to come undone you know tie your object to it and velcro it down and it can take it through while the camera can still pan and tilt uh, without any interference. The back plate here um, is used for pulling. Um, you can see there's a license plate here that's on here. It's all made out of brass. And that's one thing about everything in here is not made out of metal. It's either aluminum or brass, so it's guaranteed uh, not to rust. Um, this hook here will allow you to um, attach anything to the vehicle. For instance, we pull cable with it. We will attach uh, a nylon pull string to here and then open this up and then connect here and then now you have basically a hitch for this to pull. Um, front and rear are lock differential so the tires cannot spin uh, freely by themselves. Um, that 
causes you know great stability when you're wanting to um, you know climb up certain things without having it roll back down at you. This is a six channel controller. This controller here will control everything from the camera to the vehicle. Cameras on this side, vehicles on this side. Um, also a uh, switchable uh, switch for the light that turns on and off remotely. Uh, this side here will actually tilt the camera uh, up and down and pan it left and right. With the tilting, with the stick here, this uh, stick on the radio will actually stay where you put it. So if we go up with it, we can let go and it will stay in that up position. So when you're driving and you want an upward view, you can actually look. If you're worried about constantly looking down, you can just put it all the way down and it will stay there while you have your hands free to control uh, left and right of the camera. And then this side will actually control the, um, the vehicles left and right and reverse. Um, also what we haven't mentioned before is the actual headlight here once you actually turn it on, will actually stay in line with the camera. So if the camera was to look left, so would the light. The light follows it. So no matter where you look with that camera, you'll always have the exact same amount of light in every single uh, frame. Uh, we equipped a aluminum roll bar. This roll bar here protects the camera, all the gears and the servos for uh, the camera itself and its pan tilt and uh, capabilities. Uh, this is very important for times that this vehicle may roll over. Um, it will not damage the camera or bother any of the gears um, or servos. So for instance, if it was to roll over, it rolls right over onto the roll bar, not damaging the camera at all. After this, we're going to go through and actually show you in the controls uh, what it looks like from the actual view of the camera when you do uh, hit certain controls with the radio. Here we have a 25 pound dumbbell. I'm going to go ahead and show you the pulling capacity. Pulls with no problem. I'm going to go ahead and show you what uh, it looks like here in complete darkness. Uh, as you can see, just the red tail light there is trying, the camera's trying to focus. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the cam, I mean the actual lights with the camera. I'm going to pan the camera from left to right. No matter where the camera looks, so does the actual headlight. The camera moves, so does the tail light. So now I set up a few obstacles here through on the floor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a cruise by and see what we see. Over here looks like something's in. I can still go forward and turn the camera if I see something interesting. That looks like that was a frisbee. Turn this way. And yep, those are shoes. Over here we have some packaging. Oop, over here it looks like there's something. So we're going to go ahead and see what we see over here. Looks like a screw chest. Now over here I'm going to show you, uh, you can kind of see how it gets washed out over here with the uh, the lighting being uh, so bright. With the red headlights turned on, that kind of eliminates that and you'll see what that view looks like in a little bit. I'm going to do one wheel at a time. We can actually take a look at what we're about to go over. Got ourselves up at the right way. And then back down. This here is a view of the red headlights. Um, you don't get as much brightness distance wise, but up close you're able to see things a little bit well. We're going to go uh, over to that one area where this was really washed out, if you guys remember before, to where now you're actually able to see it a little bit better.